If you guys are interested in being a member, then click the join button down below to check out the available perks. I believe the first tier is only $1. Thank you to those of you who choose to join. With that said, welcome to another Division 2 build breakdown video. With the summit's biggest threat now being the red and purple NPCs, I decided to make a new, more balanced, legendary solo assault rifle build. I have posted a good few protection from elite builds, but with the changes to the summit, those builds aren't as effective as they once were. So I've now had to build more towards protection from red and purple NPCs. Isn't it crazy that the biggest threat in legendary right now is the low ranking NPCs? Today's build was also made for those of you who don't like and can't adapt to the run and gun playstyle, so today's build will allow you to sit further back and get kills from range. This is due to a combination of our build and an assault rifle that not many players use. That assault rifle being the tactical MK16. Another great weapon to use with this build is the Foul, which has slightly higher base damage and RPM but has 10 less rounds in the magazine. The reason these weapons are so good is because they hold high damage over range, but they are also pretty effective up close, especially if you hit your headshots. When it comes to the damage stats with all buffs active, we are looking at 50% crit chance, 160% crit rate damage and 125% weapon damage, allowing us to crit just shy of 500k crits to the body. Today's build was also made to tank damage from all types of NPCs, reds, purples and elites. Meaning this build has a lot of survivability, this build's base armor is at 1.4 million but can reach 2 million plus if we stack the 40% bonus armor on kill we gain from the exotic memento backpack. We also have 48% protection from elites so we can still make light work of rogue agents and elite NPCs. Although I wouldn't recommend fully face tanking them when you're below half armor. Also guys don't forget that protection from elites also applies to your skills. Remember this as we get further into the video. So on top of the bonus armor and protection from elites we also have 4% armor regen giving us passive healing over time. And the survivability doesn't stop there because our skills also play a huge role in this build's survivability. In today's build we are using the crusader shield. Now I know a lot of players don't like using shields or light shields in general but it really is a huge help in legendary, mainly because legendary NPCs hit so damn hard. This shield adds 4.7 million health to your overall health slash armor pool. This health pool is increased even more thanks to two things. One being the Memento Backpack's 40% skill efficiency buff, and two being the Artificial High's 30% skill efficiency buff, allowing the shield to reach over 6.2 million shield health and more. How does it heal itself, you ask? Well, that comes from the Artificial Hive, which is a skill you can only use if you're running the Technician Specialization. The Artificial Hive is a great skill because it works while it's holstered, meaning I don't have to place it down anywhere in order for it to affect me. If my shield takes a lot of damage, it sends out a mini drone and it gives me back a big chunk of my shield health. The longer the shield stays up, the longer we stay alive. I say the best playstyle with this build is a slow methodical one. Keeping your back to the back end of the room and not allowing NPCs to get behind you. I've also found the best thing to do for the floors that have EMPs is draw the NPCs out of the rooms into the corridors which is a great way to funnel them, in turn making them easier to kill. Now we have spoke a little bit about the build, its purpose and showcase a little bit of what it's capable of, let's get into a build breakdown. Starting off with the specialization and we are using the technician and there's a few reasons for that. Starting off with the armor kit, as you can see the armor kit also applies to all friendly skill proxies within 10 meters. So if we are low on shield health, we hit an armor kit, it gives our shield health back, a nice big chunk of it. We also do an extra 12% damage to drones, skill proxies and robotics which is great because we're fighting the white tusk. And we also have this talent right here which gives us the 1 plus skill tip which is very important, gives a nice buff to our artificial hive. That is the skill that is going to be helping us make our shield even tankier, it's going to help repair it, it's going to buff it in all kinds of ways, it's a great skill to pair up with anything that you want to use as a main skill. Those are the main reasons we are using the technician specialization guys, so with that said, let's move on to the build breakdown. 
So starting off with our primary weapon, which is the Tactical MK16. As you can see here, 106.4k base damage, and that jumps up considerably when we get the bus from the Memento Backpack, which I will show you now. So with a full 30 stacks on the Memento Backpack, we're looking at 122.9k base damage. It'd be even higher if we had the 15% Assault Rifle damage, but it's currently at 13.5%. We have 21% health damage, 10% damage to targets out of cover, and we're using the Talent Killer, can an enemy with a critical hit grants 40% critical hit damage for 10 seconds this is a great talent to use because we're killing at range looking at the attachments we have this scope and this scope is actually very important the c79 scope which allows us to zoom in we have five percent crit chance from this scope we have five percent crit chance from the laser pointer five percent crit chance on the muzzle and then we have the magazine that gives us the extra 20 rounds moving on to the secondary now this is preference you could use the sweet dreams which gives you the sandman talent so you can melee non-elite npcs and instantly kill them you could if you wanted to run a shotgun you could run an smg you could even switch out for the foul which is as equally good as the tactical mk16 i just prefer to use it i prefer the longer mag but as you can see 127.6k base damage 650 rpm and 40 in a magazine and we have killer on this one as well hits like a truck dead accurate and has great stability Moving on to our gear pieces now, we have the Fenris Mask, 14.9% weapon damage, 12% crit rate damage, 6% crit chance, and 12% protection from elites via a mod. Our chest piece is the Bellstorm Armory, giving us 1% armor regen. Now I am arming an iron about switching this out for a Seska chest piece so I can gain 10% critical hit chance. I honestly don't feel the arm regen is needed. It's nice to have 4%, but I don't think it's needed because we get 3% anyway from the Memento Backpack when all the buffs are active. But we are using this currently, so if you guys are going to make this build, you could switch out this chest piece. Looking at the core attributes, we have armor at 145k, we have 5.2% critical hit chance, 12% critical hit damage, and a 12% protection from elite via a mod. And we are using the talent Obliterate. Critical hits increase total weapon damage by 1% for 5 seconds, stacks up to 25 times. Moving on to our holster now, which is the improvised holster. You get these pieces by going to the crafting station. Apparently you can obtain the blueprints for these for the crafting station by doing control points. Ours is rolled for 170k armor, which is max. We have 19.5% critical hit damage, 6% crit chance, and 12% protection from elites. These pieces are extremely hard to craft. They come with all kinds of random rolls on them. All core attributes change all the time. There's no set core attribute on them. It is a major pain to craft these but boy is it worth it in the long run moving on to our knee pads and we are using the fox player knee pads giving us 15 percent weapon damage and eight percent damage targets out of cover so on this build we currently have 18 percent damage targets out of cover because we also have 10 percent on the assault rifle and then we have 12 percent critical hit damage moving on to our gloves and we have the grupo sombra gloves giving us 15 percent critical hit damage we have 170k armor on here which i rolled here usually that is a red attribute we have 11.5 percent critical hit damage and six percent critical hit chance finally moving on to memento backpack which plays a huge huge role with this build it makes this build a hybrid it makes it tankier it makes it have better skills it allows us even more damage it's just you know it's great it's just a great backpack one of the best pve backpacks you can possibly run it's basically the division 2 equivalent to the division 1's ninja bike so on this backpack we have 15 percent weapon damage 160k armor and one skill tier and then we have a mod with 12 percent protection from elites the kill confirmed talent giving us the 5% weapon damage for every red core attribute 10% bonus armor for every blue core attribute and 5% skill efficiency for every yellow core attribute and then we have the long term buff for every trophy collected gain an additional 1% weapon damage 1% skill efficiency and 0.1% armor regeneration for 5 minutes maximum stacks is 30 so that's an additional 30% weapon damage 30% skill efficiency and 3% armor regen for 5 minutes now all that skill efficiency plays a huge role when it comes to our skills. As you guys can see we had the Crusader Shield at 4.7 million health. That gets bumped up to 6.2 million with all the skill efficiency that's pumped into the shield. It's kind of funny, it's like a chain. We have skill efficiency from the Memento. That gives it to the Artifish Hive. The Artifish Hive gives it to the shield as well. But they just feed each other skill efficiency. So looking at the mods on our shield, we have 4.9% shield health, near enough a max mod there, we have 4.6% shield health, and then we have a damage mod which of course doesn't apply because this isn't the firewall specialization. Looking at the artificial hive, this is the skill you can only use if you're running the technician specialization. As you can see we have 16 charges, the duration is 237 seconds, it has a health of 1.9 million, 
doesn't even matter because it's hosted to us all the time anyway so we're never putting it down which is great because usually when you put a hive down or a turret down the big heavies they run over and they kick it and just instantly destroy it so the buff amount we get is 30% skill efficiency and we get a buff to our duration by 10% and skill repair 33% now what matters here is the buff amount of 30% that gets buffed up to 40% because of the skill efficiency we gain from the memento backpack that is it for the build guys, I'm going to leave you with a stat sheet and some gameplay, don't forget to smash that like button to support the channel as it really does help us grow, subscribe if you're new for lots more Division 2 content, leave a comment down below if you have any questions, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out Mob Squad. Let's go!